Good morning guys, I'm here today with my Japanese friend Yusuke who's a resident of Bangkok. And we are going to show you how Japanese we can live for a day in the city. Let's do it man. Bangkok is a massive, sprawling metropolis with a large and diverse expat community. You can experience any type of culture and eat any kind of cuisine, whether it be Korean, Peruvian, Vietnamese, Ethiopian, or Indian. But Japanese? You won't believe what we are about to show you. Thailand has the fourth highest number of Japanese expats in the world, behind the US, China, and Australia. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Yosuke. 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 Your name? Yusuke. Ah, Yusuke, Yusuke. Yeah. This is like the Shinjuku of, of Bangkok. Three quarters of them live in Bangkok, or roughly 50,000 people, which doesn't sound like a lot, but their influence has had a much larger impact on Thai society. Are you interested in Japanese culture? Actually, yes. Bangkok alone has 2,300 Japanese restaurants. Those are all Japanese restaurants? You think a lot? So he said that every day he eats a Japanese food. To go along with numerous Japanese markets, karaoke bars, massage parlors, and more. It's time to see how Japanese we can live for a day in Bangkok. So we are headed to Prampong Station, which is the course Japanese area. Yeah, I introduced uh, you to uh, my favorite place, uh, like a great uh, Japanese. There is a supermarket uh -huh. uh, called the uh, Fuji Super. Yeah, it's very famous among Japanese. It's just like Safeway back home, but 100% of the items are imported from Japan. Literally as if you walked into a super center in Tokyo. It's a, a corner of the fresh fish and it's with your sashimi. Is this the best place? Yeah, best place. Sometimes I have a sushi party mm. with my girlfriend. It's lunchtime and you know what that means? Japanese food, one of my favorites. Yusuke took me to his favorite hidden gem. A difficult for foreigners what to is, enter. What does that mean? Uh... Fresh soba, that's my name of the restaurant. I feel I'm back to Japan. Okay. Yeah. Really excited. Is it pork okonomiyaki? They cook it like a pancake, right? Yeah, pancake. And mixed with the dough and egg and pork. And vegetables yeah, and spices. Cabbage. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta top it off with some mochi ice cream. Let's open it. Let's all take a bite. Yeah, you take it. Thank you. Mm. Belly's full. We headed for the batting cage because baseball is life in Japan. Funny thing is that almost nobody in Thailand plays baseball. So this place is exclusively built for the Japanese. It's like a batting school for children, for elementary school, middle school. Do you know how to play baseball? Uh, a little. Did when you? I was a uh, elementary school student, uh, I am not a serious. Ichiro in the house! You officially kicked my ass. <laughs> It's time to seek out Japanese relaxation. Yeah, it's the best spa in Bangkok for the Japanese style. Got the bamboo here on the walkway. Choose your kimono, take off your shoes, and enter. I obviously couldn't film while everyone was naked, but that was truly a great spa. The lounge room is filled with Japanese newspapers and Japanese TV shows. Pretty surreal. How do you feel, man, after that? Uh, yeah, it's so relaxed. Refreshing? Yeah. Ready to continue the day. To the next restaurant, of course. If you don't know what this stuff is, you'll find out by the end of this video. Oh yes. Kampai. Kampai. Smooth. It's kampai. Good. I've never had anything like this one before. Yeah, that's salmon egg, and the shrimp and egg, and the salmon and the tuna. Wow. The seaweed is on the outside, like Japanese style. Yeah. Because in the US, sometimes they put the seaweed on the inside. The sushi here is as good as it gets. En route to our last stop, we hit the arcade as they love to play in Japan. Are you ready? Yes! I'm not very good at this. As we're trying to find a sake bar. You have to Google in Japanese to find a Japanese restaurant review by Japanese bloggers. <laughs> yeah, something like this and a good review from the Japanese is the best place. Okay, let's come inside. Oh yeah, look at this. Sake is a Japanese rice wine, kind of like soju in Korea, but it's much tastier. This place has hundreds of bottles to choose from, and pouring it in the glass is like an art in itself. Simply amazing. Just when I thought today couldn't get any more Japanese, I came to the toilet. Got that rear cleansing. The moral of this video is instead of spending 400 bucks and 12 total hours of flying time to Japan, you can find pretty much anything Japanese in Bangkok. I got the Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.